Good morning, guys and girls. Happy Thursday to you. It's Pastor Ryan coming to you with day four of devotions from the rooftop of CLI. We're asking God to open our hearts in new ways and give us new perspectives and so that we would hear him speak new things. And so I feel the Lord doing that. I'm excited about that. Yesterday, we began in Colossians 3 and we looked at heaven's fashion. We're going to continue to look at that today. I want to talk to you for a moment. Uh, any of you old rock and roll fans, ZZ Top did a song years ago and it was called Sharp Dressed Man. All right, so today I want to talk to you about being a sharp dressed church and what it looks like to be sharp dressed sons and daughters of the Most High. We learned yesterday the fashion that we are to take off, the old stuff we're to take off. Today we're going to look at what new stuff we are to put on. Listen to Colossians 3 beginning in verse 12. It says, therefore, as God's chosen people, that's you, loved ones, holy and dearly beloved, that's you, loved ones, clothe yourselves with compassion, with kindness, with humility, with gentleness, and with patience. It says, bear with each other and forgive. And it continues and says, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Verse 14 says, and over all these virtues put on love which binds them all together in perfect unity. The Lord intends for his sharp-dressed people and his sharp-dressed church to begin by putting on compassion. It's interesting that the Lord's fashion, the fashion of heaven begins with having compassion for others. In Matthew chapter 9, Jesus sees a multitude of people and the Bible says that they're wandering around and Jesus has compassion on them because they're like sheep without a shepherd. And it says in that compassion, Jesus' heart is moved and then he feeds them and he heals them there in that place. Sometimes, sometimes we think that discerning others' faults is a spiritual gift. We think that being angry is a spiritual gift. It's not. The word says you want to know what, what a sharp-dressed people look like? They walk out in compassion when they walk into this world. Lord, give us compassion. Um, how can we wear clothes? Jim Cimbala said this. I got to read it to you. Jim Cimbala said, how can we wear clothes of insensitivity and self-righteousness when the only reason we are in the family of God is because of the great compassion of the Lord? Amen to that. How can we walk around without compassion? We are in the kingdom because of compassion. So the first thing we put on is compassion. It's just a, a side note. It's interesting. Often we will, without thinking, we will reflect the very thing that we see. It's like when a toddler throws a fit and all of a sudden the adult has a fit back on the toddler. It's the same, it's of the same spirit. Um, that happens in our culture. Our culture is angry. Well, we get angry. They, they throw a fit. We throw a fit and we reflect the same spirit. The Lord says, don't wear what the world is wearing. You wear compassion. When you cross hurt, you have compassion. And so let's, let's reflect what our Lord says is the proper thing to wear. The next thing we've got to put on is kindness. The Lord says, D.L. Moody said the hardest thing for God to do is to make a man kind. And I think in these days we would probably agree that that is the case. First Thessalonians said, make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always try to be kind to each other and to everyone else. So first we put on compassion, then we put on kindness. Thirdly, we put on humility. Humility is one of the rarest uh, items in the Christian wardrobe. It's a very rare, uh, it's a rare garment because pride around us is rampant um, and it'll feed on anything around us. Um, but humility is when we actually come to the place where we believe what God said about us and we believe what his word says about our sin, about our frailty, about how we're loved, about the great gifts that God has given us. It's when we think clearly about what the word of God says about us. That is humility. Fourth, we're supposed to put on gentleness. God, give us gentle hearts in this culture. Last, we're supposed to put on patience. God, give us patience in this culture that we walk in. Loved ones, God calls us to be a sharp-dressed church. When you walk out, make sure today you put on compassion. Make sure you put on kindness. Make sure you put on humility. Make sure you put on gentleness and make sure you put on patience. Amen. Lord, I pray for these precious people today. I pray today, God, that they would hear your voice above every other voice. I thank you that John 10 says your sheep know your voice and they will follow you. So I pray that above every voice that's, that's screaming today, that these loved ones will hear the voice of God. These that are dearly beloved, dearly loved. Lord, I pray that you would keep them, go with them, protect them, touch them today. Have your hand on each one and walk with him today. In Jesus name, I bless them. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys and girls. See you tomorrow.